Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stock. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Today we're going to take a look at a few companies that have been requested several times in the text chat, in the comments below. And I told fans who asked that I would take a look at these companies and let them know what I thought. This is just a glance, just a snapshot. I did not do any in-depth analysis. I certainly wouldn't call it full research or due diligence, but just a, a glance at what the companies are doing, thinking about what they have to offer, and then also taking a look at their charts, see what I see there, and talk about what I would do should I invest in any of one of these companies. I would like to start by giving a shout out to Chris Sane. I absolutely love the financial education that he offers on his channel. I think if you haven't checked him out, you should go check him out. He really is a rock star. He has a wide history of videos. He offers financial vocab terms in every one of his videos. As far as you know, everyone I've seen, they've been included. My favorite thing is that he's doing what he can to help people achieve financial freedom. I'll put a link to his channel down in the comments. Go check him out. You won't be sorry. Without further ado, let's get ready to rock. Welcome back. I'm launching a Patreon and a Discord this week. It helps support the channel and we can talk stocks 24 seven. We can build a community where instead of having comments and hoping that a reply is made, we can have live discussions with each other and really get an idea over which companies to invest in, which ones deserve our attention, and which ones we should spend our precious time doing our research and due diligence on so that we can find solid companies to invest in. Last thing, if you don't have an investing platform, check out Webull. They have a really clean user interface. I really enjoy them. You get two free stocks for signing up, two more for depositing $100 into your account. I get two free stocks just for you signing up. You're guaranteed at least $21 for those four free stocks up to a total of $3,700. The link is down in the description. Check it out. Lastly, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video if you like it, share it out with your friends. Let's get into the stocks. Okay, so the first the company that I would like to take a look at is Jaguar Health, ticker symbol J-A-G-X or JAGX. I have not fully researched this company, but I did say that I would take a look at this company and share my findings with them. So this is just a brief glance at what they have to say from their company statements. And the first thing that I look at that really piques my interest is that they talk about down here where I have it highlighted sustainable harvesting practices. I think that's huge for the social and environmental movement that we're facing, the clean energy movement, that to be in line with that is good, supporting indigenous local communities where our product is harvested. The other thing that I saw when I was reading through this, well, it even goes down to this line here, we're not presently a profitable company. So you're taking a huge risk by investing in a company that's not profitable. This first paragraph, for the drug that they're making. They're talking about tree to bottle business model and <laughs> that rhymes. Uh, the cost being a factor, what we would like to see is for that cost to be driven down to be in line or below the cost for competing medications. We still want that cost to be something that's not going to be prohibitive for the purchasing of their medication. If we take a look at their financials, this is just a brief glance again. I didn't do a lot of research into this, but I think it's worth knowing for people who are invested in it. What we see in green is their revenue. And you know we see somewhat of an upward movement in the revenue and that's good, but we also see that their net income is all over the place, that they're still losing cash. And if we look at their net change in cash, they're still losing money. They need some sort of funding to keep them afloat. So I would be really careful investing in a stock like this. I'm not saying that it doesn't have potential, I just don't have enough evidence at this point to become an investor myself. So let's take a look at the chart and see for people who do believe in this company, what the chart has to offer. I really want to pay attention to this consolidation here. This is really when we want to start investigating these financials into a more relevant time frame. So for this consolidation that we have, you can see it's, it's downward. It's losing ground as we go. That's a bearish trend that we have. And then it starts to turn things around right around here when it hit about 18 and a half cents. It looks like November 20th or so. And let's jump down to the daily chart, see what else we can see around that time. This is just a rapid increase for this company. We see a, a sharp spike up and then too much excitement. It came back down, not unlike a penny stock. You can see it settled 
about 14 cents higher from where it was off its bottom. Not a bad thing. We have a huge volume spike, so a lot of interest into this co in this company. 643 million sold, so it ramps up. It settles back down again this time around 66 cents. Something that's confirming is that there's enough excitement in this. There's enough bullish activity to keep the price elevated for right now. Some really big excitement on January the 4th, and then again, another volume spike here. The volume, 111 million shares, not bad here, 286 million shares. And that's where we ended things. And that leaves people at a, a, a sort of a cliffhanger for this one. I think we're seeing a lot of hype, a lot of excitement. And in just the glance that I took, I don't know, that's fully merited. And this is so far above the usual values. I would love to see some evidence that supports this. And if you have evidence that supports this sort of price, please put it in the comments for this video. My best guess going into our next trading day, which is January 11th, that you're going to see this come ripping down a fair amount, you know, maybe back down around $3. It doesn't mean that it's not a company with promise. It doesn't mean that there's not good things going for this company or promising things coming out of their medication. It just means that it might be a little bit too much, too much price action too soon. So invest carefully. If you buy now, I think you have a high instance, uh, you know, a high probability of a FOMO trade where you could have had a much cheaper buying point somewhere down the road. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll put it on my watch list and I'll see how it plays out from here. The next one is Zometica. And I took a look at uh, what Motley Fool had to say on this because I felt like they had some to the point information for just a quick glance at this company because I just didn't have the time to research to really see if it was something that I really wanted to put a whole lot of intention into. So Zometica, uh, you know, caring for animals. I absolutely love animals. I have two cats myself. I, neither one's Tesla cat. So uh, Stockmo, if you're watching this or fans of Stockmo, if you're watching this, uh, you know, my cats, they don't really, they're not named after car companies or anything like that, uh, just Benny and Diego. So for this, they have bulk acoustic wave technology and it sounds like it's non-invasive. And for those of us who are animal lovers, I don't know if you've ever had to watch your pets suffer, but it's nothing fun. Uh, I would love for this to be something that would be non-invasive that if there was nothing wrong with the animal that they wouldn't have to go through some sort of procedure. So this might be something that tugs at your heartstrings, but I don't know yet because I haven't done enough looking. Should it tug at your wallet? I don't know. We get talk of growth here about the diagnostic segment, 2.8 billion by 2024. I don't know how much of that market share Zometica would have in this one. I do like what I read here that they believe that they're the first ever to develop this and also the first ever available in veterinary medicine. If we look at their financials, revenue, they have none to report. It doesn't even show up up here at all. Uh, and if you look at their net income, negative uh, almost $20 million in this last, um, in, I'm sorry, in 2019. Even if we look at it quarterly, it, the story doesn't get a whole lot better. And if you look at the cash on hand, $52 million, they have some money to burn. It's not a ton of money to burn, but they do have some. Let's take a look at the chart and see where people are at with this. All right, so here on the weekly chart, you can see this one running a huge bearish trend for a while. And then we have an inflection point down here and we have a decent bull run over the past few weeks because this is the weekly chart. Every one of these candles is a week. You can see this volume spike that we have right here, which is really intriguing. This could be good confirmation that ZOM, uh, Zometica Corp, is really taking off, that they're really in position to capitalize on the product that they've developed. Down to the daily chart, we have a, a fairly nice progression here going from, what, almost six cents a share. This is still a giant leap. That's four times its value by the time we get over here, just to the bottom of this candle. And if we go to its uh, closing price of 35 cents, this thing is up six times its price since November. You know, it's going from a penny stock company that makes no money. Matter of fact, they're losing money every year that goes by. There might be some traction to be found here, but I would like further confirmation. I would like to see this find a bottom. And so far it hasn't found a bottom especially through all this volatility that I'm seeing over the past couple of days. So for this closing price that we have here at 48-ish cents on Friday the 8th into Monday the 11th, I think this is a lot like JAGX that I think it'll come down. I think it'll settle a little bit. I don't believe that you missed your last buying opportunity should this be a company that you choose to invest in. If I were to buy into it now, I'd be FOMO trading. That I'd be trying to catch on to a trend. You know, this thing already went 8X in two months time. If it 
doesn't come back down and I miss it, then I miss it. It's on to the next opportunity. I would like to see this settle down. I know those of you who are already in it, especially uh, if you were early in it, you don't want to see it settle. You want to see it go up all the time. We all do when we're long in a position. It doesn't mean that the stock's going to do what we want it to do. So please, as you trade these, just be careful. I think it's worth your time to dig around and see what you can find. It might be worth my time as well to dig around and see what I can find. So that depends on your level of interest in this company and the amount of time that you're willing to put into it. The last one is 3D Systems, and this is one that isn't new to many people. This one, it, ARK Invest has a part in this, and that's a huge vote because they do a lot of research into companies that are truly innovative. That's, that's their main motto. You say ARK Invest and innovation is the next word that comes to mind. When I look at their site, these people know how to sell it. They really do. It, every, every page on this is beautiful. They have a lot of really awesome things to say. If we look at their 3D printers, it, all sorts of materials. They have uh, on-demand parts. They're into software, uh, they, you know, into healthcare. There's just, they're selling themselves in such a good way. That marketing, I mean, they're on top of it. From the little bit that I've seen and what they're able to manufacture, this seems like NNDM's bigger brother. So NNDM is a different company. They offer a different product and different, different services, but they're, you know, they're in the same family. They're still in the 3D printing space. I really see the two of them as complementary. I can see 3D systems building the, the structures, the mechanical structures, and I can see NNDM you know, coming along a little bit later in the game. They're really hitting their stride, especially through this year. They should really be hitting their stride. If they can get it up to the industrial scale that 3D systems is currently at, I can really see NNDM building the electronics that are perfectly formed to fit within these 3D printed structures, which, it, you know, once were electronics would be something that would go along with it. They jumped and they jumped because they had a huge revenue surprise between 20 and 30% above what the, what the uh, analysts were estimating. I haven't done my research in this one either. This one will get my attention. This is Arc Invest page talking about their 3D printing ETF, which I believe is PRNT as a ticker. And if we go to the ETF itself, you can see 3D Systems Core is their primary holding, ticker symbol DDD. They have over $21 million in market value in that stock. ARC believes in it, and that is also something that says to me that it's worth me looking into as well. If they're analysts who do a lot more due diligence and research than I would ever have time for as an individual, then it should at least be worth my time too to see what other potential this company has. As far as their net income goes, it's going the wrong direction for right now up to Q3 2020. I'm excited to see what Q4 2020 has to say for the revenue and their net income. And I really, I want to see this company fulfill the promise that it has, and it seems like it's well in the way of doing it. Looking at the chart for 3D systems, this stock was, you know, between four and five bucks back, back in September. And then the revenue surprise comes out and this thing through the, through the roof. And you can see those expectations being tempered. And if it, again, this is another one. If I put the Bollinger Bands on it, it's just ridiculous. The, the fact that they, they burst almost vertically for our standard deviations from one day to the next, you're going to have this overbuying more normal prices according to the standard deviations anyway. Like I said, I'm excited about hearing about it, about their uh, revenue beat. To me, that's something that calls for my attention that it's a company that not only has promise, but is also starting to fulfill that promise. So I will do my research, my due diligence, and then report back what I find for this company. All right, that's what I have for you. Jagex, if there's something that you know about the company that I should take a look at that would interest us as investors, please let me know it down in the comments. I'll take a look at it and give it further consideration if I think it's merited. Zometica, Z-O-M, same thing for that one. If you have more information or if you have a specific thing that you would like me to take a look at there, go to the comments, let me know why this company has promise, why we should care as investors. I definitely care as a person who loves animals and I don't want to see them suffer any more than what they might have to as far as their health is concerned. So something on a basis would be great. 3D systems, ticker symbol DDD, and they caught my attention. I'm going to do a lot more work looking into them, seeing if there is an investment opportunity there for me for getting into that company. They, I think they really stand a chance to take off. Closing this thing up, Chris Sane, he's a champion. Link down in the description. Check him out. If you haven't already, you won't be sorry. Weeble, four free stocks, $21. 
help me out because I also get two free stocks. It really does help support this channel, helps fund some better equipment than the, the stuff that I'm using right now. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, share it with your friends, really help grow this community. We have a lot of positive things going. I appreciate the perspectives that people bring. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Always do your due diligence in your own research. Contact a financial advisor before making any financial decisions. I'm Dr. Stock. Thanks for rocking with me. Now go get that money.